everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've made this double trifold showstopper card. I haven't done a showstopper for a while. I just measured this one and it is 20, 27 and a half <laughs> by seven. <laughs> but you could half it. So these are two trifolds joined together. So it folds down to a seven by seven and a half size. So it fit perfectly in my eight by eight box envelopes. And then when you open it up, you've got this wonderful shaped card with that lovely image in the center with the i love you this much i just thought this kind of is you know that sentiment was where i went with this card i wanted to use that sentiment again and i thought i needed a card that's going to stretch and expand out to represent this is how much i love you and i thought this one worked really well i've got these lovely toppers i'll show you all that in a moment and then you've got lots of space on the back to be able to write your message Maybe you're doing it for a work colleague. You've got all that space there as well for them to write on. And it just displays itself really easy. And it's easy to make as well. So let me show you how. So I've got some string that I'm using for the bunting. I've used just some hearts that I've got in my stash. These ones here. And then this is a Tonic Studio one. All my love. Then I've taken the hugs and kisses and then the especially for you, which I've stamped, which I've stamped on the back. And then the paper pad, I've used this one again. And I've used the hearts and the stripes, which is on the reverse of one of these other ones, this one here. And I think I've used another one, this one, the reverse of that one as well. So the let's celebrate. You could use... The six by six, because this bit's quite big here, that's only if you use the pattern there. Otherwise, you could use a six by six pad if you have this, or the eight by eight. So everything is all cut. I've stuck a lot of the mats and layers down as well because it's really easy to follow this one. And I've done one half as well, which is here. So you can just make the one trifold, which is like this lovely card on its own but this is going to be the showstopper so we're going to double it so i'm going to make this one again but like i said it is really quite nice just on its own and it's big anyway and that will fold down into your five by seven size but to make this a double so you want a piece of ten and a half by seven along the ten and a half side you're going to score at half an inch and at five and a half then pop it on the short side with the half inch end at the top and you're going to score at one and a half down to eight inches and then at five and a half down to eight inches then pop it back along so you've got the longer length there and just join up and it should be at eight inches so just bring that down and it should join up with the end of the score line if you then just flip the card and do the eight again at that side and then you can just flip it back and just score that back in the right way okay so you should have something like this you'll then want this piece of five by seven and i think it's going to be easiest to do no maybe it is easiest to do this one you might want to do this side first or the one that i'm going to give you now you want to score it two and a half down to one and a half Okay, and then just flip and do two and a half, again down to one and a half, flip it back and then you can just go over that one and then pop it along this side and you're going to score at one and a half to join that one and then at five and a half to join that one there. You can see how those score lines look. So next you want to fold and burnish, so like so and then it's going to be this one's going to go over so you might want to do that score line in the other direction so your card doesn't crack this is the tonic studio cardstock craft perfect so it's 216 gsm so and it doesn't crack i can fold that both ways it's always okay so before we can fold and burnish the rest of the score lines we need to do some cutting so i'm going to cut with the half inch piece facing me I'm going to cut and then first of all, I'm going to remove, well, I'm cutting to the left of the score line, but I'm going to remove it because you don't want it catching when you come to open and close the card. And then I'm going to remove the score line. So now I'm just cutting away that like sliver.
all the way there. I can fold that now away. Just gonna go all the way up there, and then I can just very carefully remove that piece like so. But now you've got so you've got that slight little bit of clearance there, so it just won't catch on it. So I'm going to do the same here. So this time I'm just cutting to the left of the score line. You just want to remove it. So whatever way works best. Okay, so you should now have something like this. And then with this one here, you just want to cut down both of these and again just remove the score line okay so what's going to happen is this main one here these are going to fold over this way so just keep everything lined up so it runs nice and parallel when you fold it back over and then that one that way so you'll have the half inch tab should line and that score line should line up with this long one here so again, fold that one and then this one. And then this one can fold right over and you've got the half inch tab overhanging this side. So you've got them overhanging that side, those two, and then this one. But this one here, this section is four inches. It's the same as this one here. So what I would say first of all is just take a little wedge off of each side. And this is going to stick on top so we don't see any of the joins. So you want to put the glue with it folded over so it's going to go on this side here. So I'm going to use my quick grab glue. Put that all along like so. And then just, if you fold those away from you, then you can just focus on this one. You just want to make sure that everything... That tab is all hidden behind and just make sure that it all folds flat there. And then with these pieces here, you're going to stick these over the top. So this time we want to put the glue underneath. So we put it on the top of the other one, but this one put it underneath. If you want to cut a little bit off of the sides there, you can as well. And then just push it up to that score line and fold over. Like so, and then again, grab my glue, push that up, and just fold over. And just make sure that everything folds flat. So now when you open it, you can't see any of the joins. The join here and on those pieces is all on the back there. So as long as you've got that, then you know that you've done it the right way. But now you've got your trifold style. Like I said, really nice on its own. What we're going to do now is you'll have two of them if you're going to do what I'm doing. You're going to stick one over the other. That's up to you whether you stick the left over the right, right over the left. I tend to feel like I want to put the left over the right. You can see already now we've got this really big card. So I'm going to bring in the oh, Kalau glue and I'm going to add this. And over here, and that's going to start to strengthen this part in the middle. And I'm just going to sit that one over the top. You want to, you know, get it as close to this, but don't butt it right up. Just make sure that can fold over nicely, and then that one can fold over that one. It should be, I think it's a seven by seven and a half size when it's all folded down, so it will fit perfectly in my eight by eight box envelopes. Okay, now we've got this really lovely, very large showstopper double trifold card, which all folds down nicely as well. So next we can start decorating. Now, the middle one I have already started to do this piece here. I want to have the cross shape. Now, if you don't want to faff about and cut into the corners, then you can do this one and I'm having this one on the back but you'll see it fits in there perfectly and then when I give you the measurements for these pieces it's the same that you would put in here 
So if you want to do just mats and layers in the middle, you might have a nice big long sentiment that you're using. The white piece is seven by three and three quarters. Then the pattern paper is six and three quarters by three and a half. And then this white piece is six and a quarter by three. Okay. But I'm going to do this one. So I want just a big mat layer that's like a cross shape. So you want to cut yourself a piece of seven by six and three quarters. Six and three quarters is the height. So just make sure if it's a pattern paper or if you're stamping your image, you're stamping it in the right orientation. So make sure that you've got your height at the six and three quarters. You then want to come in. I, if I get the scoreboard just so you can see how I done this one. because I've just done it the same way as I scored, you know, the other things. So you want to score at two and three eighths down to one and a half. And then you want to score at four and five eighths down to one and a half. And then just pop it on the side and score at one and a half till you join it up, flip it and do that again. I'll just show you on that side, you can see where I've done it. You're then just going to cut away the corners, removing all of the score line. So I'm just going to cut this one. So I already stamped this. The reason I've done the cross is because I really want to use this image because she's just got that lovely pose. You know, it worked really nicely also for the one before Happy New Year. So she's like, goodbye 2021, hello 2022. She's just got that great pose that works for actually quite a few I think occasion, so I thought it looked great for the I love you this much. So I'm just again just trying to catch the light so I can see my score line there. Like so. So that one now will fit perfectly in the middle. And then that one's going to go on the back. I'll give you the measurements for one side, and if you're doing the double, you just double everything. So for the panels, the biggest ones here, these are both the same. They're both five inches wide. So the mats and layers are the same. So you'll want two of the size or four if you're doubling it up. So the white piece is four and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then four and a half by three and a half. And then there's that topper from Tonic Studio. And I've just layered it up and used some mirrored card there. So those two are gonna go there. And then I've got two more place them all down see if I come across this side a little bit and then that one be there make sure it's all up the right way and then that one there I've then got these pieces here so you might decide that you want to do your matte layer this shape here then you just want to do it the same process that I did with that one but because I'm having these two big panels, I just need one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. So you'd need 12 again if you're doing the double. So the white is two and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then the pattern is two by one. And they're going to go in all of those sections. And then I've got these ones to go in the long part. So again, you'll want two or four of these. And these are one and a quarter by four and three quarters and then one by four and a half and they're going to go in there i've then got the bunting so i just cut this i had a punch a triangular punch once i put all the mats and layers on i'm just going to stick this so it's hanging down it's got a bit more of a i guess a birthday feel to it with the bunting but i just want there to be quite a lot on here for my nan to enjoy and then i've got my sentiment which i just printed off the computer just type that one up myself i love you this much that's going to go there and then I've got some hearts that I'm going to add to it as well and probably some Luva drops maybe some sequins we'll see so I'm going to pop some music on now just mute the music if you don't like it and I'll be back when I finish the card
is huge. <laughs> Actually, how long is this? Let's have a little look. So we've got 12, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27 and a half. 27 and a half by seven. <laughs> might be the biggest card I've made so if you've got those special birthdays you know a nice big number there or big wedding anniversary engagement you know all those special milestones these kind of cards I think look fab you've got so much space to show off all your lovely pattern papers if you are doing this kind of card maybe for someone leaving work you've got so much space on the back to be able to you know for colleagues to fill out and write nice little notes and messages and, and all that kind of stuff then it all folds down like I said into that seven by seven and a half sort of fit into my eight by eight box envelopes so I hope you've enjoyed this double trifold showstopper card I've thoroughly enjoyed making this one and I know my nan is gonna absolutely love this one I'm putting her together a little valentine's parcel so um and i'll be sharing some of the little things that i'm going to be sending her as part of this valentine series so yeah if you've enjoyed today check out the other tutorials that come up now there'll be another trifold style or showstopper style and i would have shared my eight by eight box along the video somewhere and also i will share my other valentine's makes as well if you want to check those out because like i said i think this is about the fourth year now fifth it might even be the fifth yeah, it might even be the fifth. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching as always. Check the links in the description box below for the products that I've used today and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.